Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is my E3 CNC, an ender clip based CNC machine. I've already shown it cutting wood, plastic and aluminium in a short video previously on the channel. It's a small affordable machine that is surprisingly capable. However, it's been struggling to cut aluminium reliably. And I think the main limiting factor here, aside from the rigidity of the machine, is this so-called spindle. It's basically a 150 watts mini drill, which is fine for wooden and plastic but it's really underpowered for aluminium, so it's time for an upgrade. Here is the new 500 watt spindle, which can spin up to 12,000 RPM and use ER11 collet. My plan is to swap out the mini drill for this proper spindle. To do that, we'll have to disassemble the Z-axis until we reach the lead screw, so we can remove the old mounting plate that holds the mini drill in place and replace it with this 3D printed part here, onto which we'll attach this aluminium block, which will hold the new spindle securely in place. All right, so let's get to work. So here we are so far. I removed the mini drill and the back, the back plate. Now we have to unbolt the carriages from here and unbolt these four screws here. So we can actually let the, let the carriages drop down and then we can lift this whole thing up and take out this, uh, this plate. Okay, so I've taken out these four screws on each side and the carriages are out and this is only held in place by the lead screw nut. I've also taken out these four bolts here and I unplugged the motor and the end stop and now we can lift this up and we can untwist this and we can take down this nut and put it on the new on the new plate. So this is how the new plate is looking with the lead screw nut on let's put everything back together so we can actually assemble the thing so i am done reassembling the the thing i've bolted back the carriages and the the main plate here that holds the motor it can move up and down so right now what we have left to do is to actually put this piece in place so we can actually mount the spindle we got the spindle mounted it's held in place really securely. What we have to do next is extend the wires because they are very short, they are not reaching there. And place the power supply unit there on the back, on the wall, next to the MCU, and wire everything up. So I'll see you after I'm done with that. So, wiring is done. I put the power supply here and connected it, connected it to the motherboard. Power is switched on by this uh, solid state relay and then we get the signal to power the spindle from this little box. Let's clean up the wire a bit. Okay, seems like there's no smoke coming from anything. So let's get uh, to Clipper to configure everything. So I finished configuring Clipper, I'll put on screen uh, how I did it, basically I assigned two pins, uh, one to power up the power supply of the spindle and one that controls with PWM to analog that uh, 0 to 10 volts that actually give the command to the power supply to uh, power the spindle to a given RPM. Uh, let's actually see the spindle running. Okay, so right now uh, we'll test the spindle at four speeds, 25, 50, 75 and 100 percent. So let's start with that. First I'll turn on the spindle power, which is basically the, uh, the power control, now it has power. And now we can just give it 25 percent and we should see it running. There it goes. That's 25, this is 50, this is 75, and this is 100. Okay. Let's actually home the machine and put an end mill in there and start cutting.
So that was all the cutting. Uh, some conclusions for wood, it worked perfectly fine. Uh, we can push the depth of cut and the feed rate much higher. For acrylic, it, it was fine initially. However, after a while, it started uh, collecting chips on the flute. And because there was no vacuuming or stream of air, they started melting and created this outer rim here. So what we want to do next for acrylic is install some kind of pump or fan so it blows away or sucks in chips. And for aluminium, it did much better. The surface finish is really good. However, it still needs some tuning because I think I pushed it way too hard and way too deep, way too fast, and it's still chattered. So that's that's all of it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below, and I'll see you in the next one.